Introducing the brand new Gamma Vocal Suite from Modern Metal Songwriter. We'll begin at the top with the basic settings. Here on the left, you'll find our logo, which will allow you to access your license info and download version. Next to that is the presets menu, which you can easily scroll through by clicking the arrows, or you can go down the list manually. You can even save your own presets for use later. To the right of the presets menu is where you can manually adjust the order of the modules within Gamma. You can change the order by using the arrows to move the modules around left and right. Next to that is where you can set your input and output levels using these two knobs. And finally, here is where you can adjust the plugin UI size to fit your screen properly. Now, let's move on to the modules within Gamma. First is the compressor. You can click the orange button on each module to turn it on or off. By default, all of them are turned on. At the top of the compressor module is the auto gain function that lets you compress without worrying about changes in volume. Click the orange button to toggle it on or off. Next to the auto gain is the lo-fi feature. Clicking this will engage a lo-fi filter. Below the comp and lo-fi buttons is where the gain reduction meter is. They're labeled GR and show you how much compression you're adding. In the middle is the threshold knob where you dial in the amount of compression you want. Turn this up to apply the compression. On the bottom left of the module is the Total Harmonic Distortion knob, THD, where you can apply saturation for extra character. Next to that is the Soft button, where you can choose between a softer or harder style of compression. Click the Hard button on the other side of the Mix knob to engage the more aggressive style of compression. In between the Soft and Hard Compression Styles button is the Mix knob, where you can blend the processed and unprocessed signals together to achieve a parallel style of compression. And finally, on the bottom right is the makeup function, which will add gain to compensate for any loss during compression. Next up is the equalizer module. This is where you can EQ your tracks with many different options. First, you can use the graphic display and grab each of the four EQ bands and move them around as needed with tons of flexibility. To change the band shape, use the band and curve type menus on the right to select a band, one, two, three, or four, and change the shape to what you're looking for. Use the Curve Type, Frequency, Gain, and Q drop-down menus to dial in the exact parameters you need. Another way to EQ is by using our built-in analog curves found within the Curve Type menu. While less flexible, each of these presets is based on traditional analog units and designed to add extra character. Moving to the bottom modules of the plugin, we'll start on the left with Saturation. This module features three different styles of saturation, including Tube, Tape, and Transformer. Use the knobs to add additional grit and character to the source. Use the mix slider to blend in the original signal with the newly processed signal. This is especially useful when blending multiple saturation styles in this module. Next to the saturation module is the width module. This is designed to add width and depth to your vocals. Use the amount dial to add however much you'd like. Choose between three different width modules by clicking A, B, or C. Using the filter slider will add a high-pass filter, allowing you to cut out unwanted lower frequencies from the affected sound. To the right of the width module is the reverb module. There are two different styles of reverb available. Reverb A is a longer, more modulated style, while reverb B is a shorter, more dampened style. Blend them together for the ultimate vocal verb. Use the size knob to make the reverb space sound larger. The pre-delay knob lets you select the exact amount of pre-delay you hear. The mix function lets you blend the unprocessed sound with the processed sound, as well as blending between A and B if you're using both styles. Click the mono button to make that reverb mono. It's stereo by default. The ducking feature at the bottom allows you to engage a sidechain compressor that will allow you to get a louder reverb without overpowering the vocal performance. Turning the knob engages the sidechain compressor, and the display next to it shows your gain reduction coming from the compression. And finally, you can EQ the reverb by clicking this button at the bottom. When you click the EQ button, a low and a high filter will appear, allowing you to filter the reverb. Next is the delay module. Both delay A and delay B function the same. Use just one or stack them with different lengths for extra depth. Use the feedback knob to dial in how long you want the delay tails to last. Like other modules, the mix knob lets you blend in the process signal with the unprocessed. Next to the mix knob is the delay function, where you set the delay lengths you need. If you click sync, you can select between different subdivisions that match your DAW's tempo map and milliseconds. 
Towards the bottom is the ducking feature that, like the reverb, allows you to compress the delay by not overtaking the vocals via sidechain compression. Use the knob and meter to dial in this effect. On the bottom left of the module is the lo-fi button that will engage a lo-fi filter when clicked. This will only affect the delayed signal, allowing for cleaner delays in dense mixes. Last is the EQ function. Click this button to open a tilt EQ knob. Turning it clockwise from zero will make the tails darker. Turning it counterclockwise will make them brighter. To the right of the delay module is the de where you can get rid of unwanted sibilance and harsh frequency buildups in your vocals. Turn the reduction knob to apply the de and use the GR meter above the knob to see your gain reduction. The frequency slider at the bottom is where you can target specific areas depending on your vocalist. Next is the doubler module to add extra depth to your vocal sound. The graphic display has a voices axis and a size axis. Use the sliders or move the orange circle to dial in the doubling effect. Use the filter slider to apply a low cut and remove any unwanted frequencies from the signal when doubling. At the bottom is a mix function where you can blend the original signal with the affected signal. The final module is the limiter. Here is where you can set your final loudness for your vocal sound. Use the gain reduction meter to see how much limiting you're applying when using the threshold knob below. Turn the threshold up to engage the limiter and use the ceiling slider to set your output ceiling. And that's it. We hope this helps you take advantage of all the features and modules inside of Gamma. And as always, thank you for supporting our team here at Modern Metal Songwriter.